Hey, what's up everybody? It's VR Gamer Dude here, and today it is Halloween, and you guys know what that means. That means I've got to play some spooky shit on the channel. So for that, I have chosen Reficle. Uh, it's a new game that launched into early access today, as a matter of fact, on Steam. And uh, yeah, man, it is just absolutely terrifying. Global power outage, I mean, spooky shits hunting you down, shadow creatures. So you guys got to check this out. And I want to thank Mad About Game Studios, my friend Sean Williams over there, for getting me hooked up with a little early look at this one. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to show you guys. So let's jump in and let's take a look. At Reficle. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you an update on our breaking story over the last few hours. Oh, what's going For on? For our viewers who already know and those who have just tuned in, we have been covering the meltdown of international communications across the globe over Say the last what? eight hours. We can now confirm that this phenomenon seems to be encompassing the entire globe. The entire globe? We can globe? now also confirm that Asia, Africa, as well as Europe have been affected. Wow, because they're we have on now the lost globe. all communications yeah. with almost half the globe. Not, like we half have Professor of it or Jenner all of it? at the University of Florida with us now. Professor, the sun is about to set on the East Coast. Please, can you tell us what you know about this global phenomenon and how we can prepare ourselves for power and communications outages, as well as a global power cut? Thank you, Cynthia. Yeah, this doesn't sound good. Well, it's almost 9 p.m. here in Tampa, and we have been working on this all day. What we like know is day. that when night falls, we seem to lose power, communications, everything. Even the satellites are down. Our only communication was with one of our graduates over in India who was able to send a text from an old 90s cell phone. The text message said, That's those the darkness rock. comes. Razor a likely cause could be Flip the long-fabled Carrington effect, which is a solar burst that can cause these sort of things on this scale. Oh, well, yeah. Following this, we have done some extensive research into the... Uh oh It looks like we have lost our connection with Professor Jenner. According to various reports, which are now reaching us, the phenomenon has now hit our East Coast. We have oh, only a matter boy. of hours to prepare here in Northern California. The National Guard has advised everyone to stay indoors and ride this thing out as if it was a storm. Get some candles, stock up on water, and prepare at least three days of meals. Lock the doors and wait until the power is restored. Keep safe, everyone. This is Cynthia Norton, Eldorado Network News. Okay, man. So, looks like some bad stuff is about to go down, and we are right in the middle of it here. So, man. All right. Well, welcome to Reficle. And, and this game is absolutely terrifying. Let me tell you, I've been trying to play it the last couple of nights, and, man, I'm getting my butt kicked in this. So, don't expect miracles out of me, but uh, we're going to go in there here in a minute and we're going to see just how long we can survive. But, man, I just love, yes, there's the lightning. I love looking out this window at this storm. It's just, it's one of those moments that kind of gives me a little bit of presence. And I'm digging it. So, all right, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, look at the pretty window. Let's go ahead and start a new game, shall we? Let's go. Okay, so here we go. All right, read me first. Um, I don't know what's going on. There is no power. Everyone is gone. The shadows have taken them. I've left some instructions and a flashlight downstairs. Watch for the shadows. All right, Neil. Well, thanks for warning me, bud. So... Okay, now there are a couple of different movement styles in this game, and, and I gotta say it's actually a really cool combination. So I've got my free movement here on my left stick, and I've got my directional teleport here on my right stick. And, and I'm telling you, the, you know, a lot of people advocate for one or the other. Seeing this together like this, this is absolutely, in my opinion, one of the best control schemes for VR. Okay, but with all that said, let's go ahead and get on with it here. All right, let's get downstairs and see what Neil has left for us. Oh. I've got a flashlight now, so that's much better. And yes, a gun. I have a feeling I'm going to need this. Let's go 
get some extra ammo there. Cock that baby. All right. So, important. Everyone is disappearing. Almost everyone has gone. We don't know what is going on. Just me and Danny. What the hell was that? I'm sorry. <sighs> um, just me and Danny and Jimmy left. We're meeting up at Danny's place across the street. Grab the flashlight and the gun. Be careful out there. All right. So, got our flashlight and our gun. What's this one? Watch for shadows. We don't know what they are. It may be the end of days. Some have talked about. I don't know, but I know that light can be used to spot where they are. Well, it's a good thing I got a light here. Damn, I want a TV that big. Anyway, um, bullets can kill them or get rid of them for a while. Danny thinks it's because the speed of the bullet might interfere with the vibration or something, whatever that is. Take care, buddy. Well, yeah, okay, um, I got a gun and I got a flashlight, and oh my god, we, we got weird, freaky sounds going on. And I'll tell you, that, that's a big play in this game, man, is the sound. The sound engineering is insane. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, hell no. Um, you can't see me. You don't see me. No one can escape my Uh, um, beg to differ there, lady. Okay. God, now, I'll tell you what, they really, really nailed this. This, this feeling of being on a dark street, uh, you know, a suburban street like this. <clears throat> I mean, this is, this is like the neighborhood I grew up in. I mean, this is insane. Okay. Uh-oh. Yeah, so let's head into the house with the bloody hand friends. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, little movement bug there. So, you know, sometimes in this one, I mean, it is launching into early access. It, the, the movement can get a little tricky, but you know, as I was saying before, whoa, whoa. Something's getting me found out. Oh, man. See, you know, I sat there and I and I was just digging around and yeah. <laughs> yeah, death is my new master. Whatever. He looks like something that just popped off of a Dio album cover. That's awesome. Okay, so here we are. We are back in the living room now. You know, unfortunately, the 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 one thing about this game. I gotta say that I, I kind of don't like is permadeath. So if you die, you gotta start all over again. And uh, you know, I mean, I know why that they put that in a game like this. They put it in here so you know you really have to be conscious of your decisions. And you know, I mean, you know, it's like survival horror. I mean, you know, if you die, you die. But uh, as a gamer, sometimes, man, I just want to get to the next part. I just want to push it a little farther, especially when I die that quick. So, all right, enough said. We're going to go ahead and run through it um, a few more times here. Okay. Thanks, Neil. I already know what you said there. Get on up in here. Let's get my gun. All right. And the flashlight. Excellent. All right, now let's see if we can really concentrate this time. Probably gonna be a little less chit chatty. A little more gameplay in here. All right.
I gotta say, I really like the artwork on the walls of some of these houses. These are like really, really cool. Shotgun. Alright. It's interesting how you actually have to load the shells in the shotgun. And you really do want to be looking for these notes if, if you want to know what's going on here in the game. All right. And I hope you're still alive and reading this. We're going next door to Padre Jacobs. Uh, Jimmy you Binks. What? Nuh uh. Nuh uh. Get off me. Uh, you get off me. Uh. Yeah, shut it, buddy. Man, I'm telling you what, you really have to be on your toes. Uh, this is this is a hard one to record or stream. I mean, because, I don't know, maybe I should just play. All right, this next round, just going to play. Oh, that's right. I already read that. So I know they're over here. says this relic will show the dark spirits to the chosen ones. We can't see them, but he sure can when he holds the gospel of Eden. If you are a chosen one, be sure to put it into good use. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't see shit. are freaking me out. I don't even want to be reading these because I'm scared that something's going to get me from behind. By the relics, only the chosen ones can use them. At first, we didn't believe it. Padre's left a couple of relics here. I need to try. Oh, 
dark spirits. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about is them dark spirits. God, it's like I hear stuff outside and it's just creeping me out. heartbeat and it's getting louder. Oh, nice. I've died again, but ooh, hey wait, oh, this time I didn't start, well, I mean I technically started from the beginning, but it's like it put me back without having to go to the loading screen. I wonder if that's because I was holding that Book of Resurrection thing. Alright. Let me give this one more try here, and then we may take a look at the bonus game. There is an actual bonus game that got launched, it's on a little tablet in here. Um, ah, so getting into that too. It's like I really wish there was a better indicator of when the enemies were coming. Like, you know, you hear all these weird sounds all over the place. Whoa, God, that lightning trips me out. Make 
sure I didn't miss anything over here. Let's from my gun. Oh, that's cool how it even spits out the empty shell casing. Man, nice attention to detail. Okay, so we need to get from the Padres to the camp. Alright. We're splitting up. Me and Danny are going to set camp just out of town. Hunter Jacob says we need to get... Okay. So, it looks like I'm here. You facing the street there. So I need to go that way. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try to make a run for it. You will sleep. I'm oh, you guys just shut your mouth. Oh, <laughs> ha! I saw you that time. I see you. I see you. Oh, crap. Where's my gun? Where's my gun? Okay, this is one place where teleport really does come in handy. You only get me. Just freaking me out. And I lost my gun. All I got is a flashlight. This is not cool. Now I don't even know where I'm at. Maybe this way? Leading up that dude's driveway. Crap, where am I supposed to go? No. Whoa, that sounds huge and horrible. <laughs> this is so creepy. Man, I'm telling you, just walking around in here is like this incredible sense of dread. Okay, definitely need to be finding another weapon. What the, oh, what the hell? You don't see me. No, you don't see me. <laughs> That's, okay. So probably a little glitch in the game since it's early access that I didn't trigger their 
response here. So let's see, check them out. Whoa, hey buddy, okay, okay. Yeah, I got too close nap time. All right, all right, well, I deserve that death. <sighs> all right, well, I have died playing the regular game, but oh, you shut it. Um, but you know, okay, so I think we're gonna check out a little bit of the bonus content because you guys get the gist of the regular game. It's just you know, go as long as you can, survive, find the next set of clues. And obviously, I am sucking at it, uh, but I'm loving every minute of it. I mean, you know, it, it's definitely got its issues. Um, it's it's got you know, uh, the controls are are kind of you know innovative. Like I said earlier, in the fact that you've got the free movement and the teleport combined in the same you know game, but uh, it, it is a little rough in certain areas. But man, other than that. <laughs> <laughs> For something in early access, I can't wait to see this one grow. So, all right, that's enough about the awesome game Reficle here. Now let's go ahead and check out the bonus game. Um, they came from the east. Okay, so what do we have here? Uh, got a machine gun. So, let's go Prepare for the first wave. Okay, so it's got to be a wave shooter. Lots of spider webs. <laughs> Please don't tell me it's spiders. Oh crap, it's spiders. Taking the synthesizer music. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. We're backing it up, backing it up. Out of ammo, out of ammo. Hell. Come on, y'all. Give me a weapon. Just need a weapon. Ugh. What what happened? Ugh. Oh no, 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 no. This is one place where I will agree teleport is helpful. God damn this cord. Well, I'll tell you what, I am so ready for wireless VR. Let me tell you. Oh, 
they got okay, you. Okay, so that was absolutely creepy, man. So, I, I don't know. This game, I've played a lot of horror games in the past, but this one, it just, I, you get out of that door and you get into that neighborhood and, and it's dark and everything's the right scale and you got the storm going on and I got a little presence going there and it really was kind of creeping me out. Um, the, the sound in this game is fantastic. Uh, you know, just all the little whispers and nuances and heartbeat thumps. and I, So anyway, blah, 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 blah. If you're into horror games, you got to check this one out. I'm going to throw a link for it down in the description. So if you want to grab it, just head to that link, head over to Steam, get a copy of this. You know, it's early access. It had its bugs. You can definitely see that. But I can tell you the developers are super active, or at least for the last month that I've been testing it. Lots of updates coming. So I, I feel that those little wrinkles are going to get ironed out, and this is going to become a terrific horror game. So for me, that's it. My heart's racing. This is VR Gamer Dude. Signing off, y'all. Peace.